Today I'm going to talk about dark pools. What are they? Why were they created? And what are the concerns that people have about them? I'm addressing each one of these in this video. So let's get started. First, what are dark pools? Well, dark pools are a type of alternative trading system, also known as ATS. There were institutions, hedge funds, banks, public pension funds, and more can accomplish their large trades in blocks. Dark pools are used to hide their trades, also their intentions from the public exchanges, such as the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. They are an alternate way to route their orders as well. Dark pools also do not have a level two or order book visible to the public. A fun way to explain them is let's say you want to buy 1 million shares of a stock. You want to do it in the dark pool, so you go to this pitch black trading room. You can't see who anyone is, how much they are selling their block for, they don't know who you are, or even how much you are willing to pay in general. All you do is you just keep on bidding until you match the price that the other party is looking for. After that match, you both leave the pitch black trading room and then up to three hours later, the trade shows up on the consolidated tape. And here's something that I heard from Stephanie Kamerman when she was talking to Charles Payne. She mentioned that if institutions cross trades from the London desk to the New York desk, they don't have to report their trades for 24 hours hours. Apparently, this is a loophole and a huge advantage for them as well. Next, why were dark pools created? Well, let's say you run a large public pension fund and you have large blocks of shares of a stock. Well, you are probably watched very, very closely because if you sell a bunch of shares, people may think that you have some upper hand knowledge that they don't know about. So you are in a way seen as an indicator to investors that also hold the same stock as well. So let's say that you want to sell 1 million shares of a stock and you do it on the New York Stock Exchange. If you did it there, people would start to take notice when they see walls of 10,000 or even 100,000 shares showing up on the level twos. This could hurt your goal because the market would react. Other people may start selling too. Also, the price you get for the first 10,000 would be, let's say, $10. The next 10,000 would be $9.95. The next 10,000 would be $9.90, etc. This technical pressure pushes down the price as buyers at each price point get their fill, causing buyers at lower price levels to eventually get some of the action. By the end of it, let's say you sold all 1 million shares for an average price of $9.50 on the public exchange. But if you sold all 1 million shares, shares on the dark pool with the same starting price at $10, you could sell all your shares in 10,000 shares or more blocks for let's say $9.90 to $10 range over time. Then A, you would save more money as the average is higher than what you would get on a public exchange. And B, no one would know who you are until you report it a couple of hours later if you're let's say a public pension fund as well. And at that point, the other party would also report their trade. Maybe the market will react to this, but maybe not. But you know that you have your money out, so you're not concerned about the reaction. So with that example in mind, you can see that dark pools were created to avoid impacting markets with huge block orders, which would cause a large amount of volatility on public exchanges. Next, what are the concerns that people have about dark pool? Well, first, it's in the name. Dark pools are dark because of their lack of transparency. They're away from the public eye. This is great for the big players, but may leave retail investors at a big disadvantage. This disadvantage is amplified if both parties in the dark pool are private as neither one of them needs to report. This is important as these non-reporting private institutions can hide their intentions, strategies, and plans. Lastly, it also can be seen that dark pools are taking up activity potential away from the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, and other exchanges. This potential is even quantifiable as we currently have 58 different alternate trading systems out there compared to the only 24 national securities exchanges. On top of this, in May 2019, the Wall Street Journal reported that the percentage of U.S. stock trades executed on the dark pools and other off-exchange trading venues rose to 38.6%. That's a lot of potential taken away from the other exchanges. So if you have any questions about dark pools or want me to go into more detail about anything else, please comment down below. I really wanna hear what you think. Also, if you want me to dive deep into any other subjects or topics, please let me know as well. Thanks for watching.